Now in part b, we're told that the coefficient of x cubed, that's the 120 a cubed there, is twice the coefficient of x squared, which is the 45 a squared part here. And we're asked to find the value of a, knowing that a is a constant that is positive, it's greater than zero in other words. So first of all, to find a then, we need to set up an equation relating these two coefficients together. So we have 120 a cubed, we're told is twice the coefficient of the x squared term. So that's two lots of 45 a squared. So clearly that means that therefore we have 120 a cubed equals 90 a squared. Now it's very common to see people dividing through say by a squared at this moment in time. Uh, you could do that but I'm purposely not going to do that. I'm going to show you why in a minute. Okay? What I'm going to do, because this has got powers on, all right, what I'm going to do is take 90a squared from both sides, make it equal to zero, and then factorize. So what we would have is 120a cubed minus 90a squared equals zero. And if I pull out a common factor now, okay, that would be 30a squared. We'd have 30a squared bracket, and then it would be 4a minus 3 would equal 0. So we have several factors all multiplied together to equal 0. 30 can't be equal to 0. This is a times a, so that would mean that a could equal 0, or we could have this other factor, 4a minus 3, equaling 0. So therefore, that's going to mean that a equals 0, or by adding 3 and dividing both sides by 4, would mean that a would equal 3 quarters. So since a, we're told, is a positive constant, that's a is greater than 0, Therefore, we can see that a has to equal 3 quarters. Now, you'll notice, as I said before, that I could have divided through by a squared, but there's many questions where if you divide out by a factor which could be a solution, you lose it. Okay? So, you'll notice that a equals 0 could have been a solution. All right? So you want to be very careful with something like that. So just to take you through what I'm sure quite a lot of you would have done, you'd have had 120a cubed then equals 90a squared. Possibly you'd have seen that 30 divides into both sides, so you could have divided both sides by 30. 30 is into 120, 4. 30 is into 90, 3 times. You could have divided through by a squared, so that goes once, that leaves you with a here. But remember that if you do divide by a factor, all right, it could be a possible solution. So if you divide through by a squared, a squared could have equaled zero, as you can see through this version here. That's why I did it. All right? So a could have been zero, but in this question, a is a value that's more than zero. So we can ignore that and you'll see then that we've got 4a equals 3, 4a equals 3 leading to the answer a equals 3 quarters. So there you have it. That brings us to the end of this question and the end of part B.